Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to try together. Today we are going for a Dragon is Death. This is the platformer, but it's a roguelite and it's action pack and we will be slashing through enemies on the way and we will be collecting some some sick uh, like spells that we will be dealing with enemies with. So let's go check it out if it's any good. Let's jump right into the new game and hopefully we will survive for a while <laughs> and uh, we will be able to tell the tale. Where have the dragons gone? Considering that the runes were the cause of their downfall, the runes are both a blessing and a curse. Runekeeper, Thordum, Blumbro. Alright. Oh, here we are. Look at that. Looks great. I will be... Alright, can I move? Alright, I, I, I can move with the... with the arrows. That's not how it works, right? All right, there is a time for us to go for the controller because this, this, this is not great. <laughs> I have not played game on arrows for a long time. There is like from from the point that there is a way as da. All right, all right. So that that's kind of better. All right, so we are back. We are jumping. Can I? Okay, this is dodge, so we can dodge around. Oh, they they are good. All right, so. Oh, what's up? Done we. Successor? You're a bit late. Well, at least you arrived before the entire town was wiped out. As you can see, the neighborhood is already overrun, overrun with demons. The town is in a panic. Apparently, the Order of Light won't be able to send enough soldiers from the capital. The normally proud Order must have been desperate to seek help from the mercenary group like us. I suppose that's what is someone like you. Honestly, I'm confused. The Order of Light calls rune wielders blasphemous, claiming they are stealing the power of the gods. I'm mercenary, and so all that really matters to me is that get, I get paid. Doesn't, doesn't it make you uncomfortable, though? All your business is your own, I don't expect any answer. I'm only here because of Logan, second in command, told me to give this token to the successful when they arrive. Consider my thanks for allowing me to rest a bit from the battle. Here, take this. If you want to talk someone from the Order, go to the Withered Forest of the Spirits. I've heard that the guards headed there, and perhaps Clara will be there as well. She seems to be a spiritual leader of the people here. Go ahead, I'll catch up later. Alright, and we? Alright, we are ready to go. To but so far, the game looks gorgeous. The pixel art really, really is nice. Runestones. Runes, okay, so. Healing potions. I think I used one before. <laughs> uh, accidentally. Oh, now we have a UI. All right, so um, by pointing out uh, up, we are uh, using it. Well, we will figure it out on the way. For now, we need to know where are the treasure chests. Oh, that's, that's nice. L love it already. Oh, character and gear. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I, I, lo I love it already. <laughs> Horror amulet, magical attack, strength, projectile damage, and critical chance. Now we have a longsword, magical attack, and weapon speed. And we have a molar talisman, magical. So a lot of magical attack. So now we can try combat resources. Press to charge a combat resources when attacking with basic skills. Oh, so, so we are with basic resources, we are generating mana. Okay, I guess that's what it is. So we need to come back to be able to use abilities. Oh, double jump right from the get-go. All right, blonde weapons, grand defensive or healing options. Okay, Galatin Forest. Oh, hello. So first, dead. Oh no, they got archers. Not happy with that. Okay, so far so good. We are we are surviving. Oh, we got the axe. Is it good? See, see. So plus attack, but weapon speed down. All right, I'm down for that. Oh my god, I'm so. I was waiting for what happened and what I was waiting for. I don't know. I was thinking uh, at the exact moment I jumped on the uh, on the platform, I was like, hmm, have my attack changed because I don't have the sword anymore, but I got the axe? No. So we got the, the the sprite doesn't change based on the equipment we will equipping. 
I understand uh, why is that because it's uh, it's harder to do that, but it's it's better. I love it when when it's happening. Oh, I don't know what the wolf. Is. Oh my god, I just went for it. All right, skill points. Oh, we got the skill. Oh no, Wolfie, you will get smacked. I don't know how much I will heal with my potion, so I'm kind of like waiting for a right opportunity. We should go with the with the skill point, right? Let, let's do it. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was searching for the button on the skill points, but I don't know. Okay, all right, through this, right? And yeah, here we are. Skill point. So we can go several ways. We can go to the right. What what is that? Mana recharge. Mana charge of death. So all right. And on the left side is what? Oh, that that's kind of. Uh, I would love this to be like movable by by arrows on the gamepad because this is really really fast. But look at the. What the hell? The tree is more extensive. <laughs> the tree is more extensive than the Diablo 4. <laughs> Even though it's really similar in in few ways, right? There's like third row, right? <laughs> that didn't happen in Diablo, right? You have one, two, and third. That was like two, right? Okay, so let's let's check it out. Well, we got three options. We got sort of fire, sort of lightning, I would say, and we got sort of cold or frost. Let's go for lightning because I'm I'm sucker for it. Attack the enemy for 100% magic damage as lightning on the hit has 40% chance to make it and jolt it. And what is jolted? Enemies deal 30% magical attacks as lightning damage to themselves and nearby enemies every second. After five stacks, they are stunned. They are electrocuted. What is electrocuted? Oh, that. So, and that's not. I would love to know what is electrocuted. Can I like see that? Dazed. All right. I was I was thinking when I was uh, reading the tooltips, I was like, yeah, that's so cool that they get tooltips and you know exactly what's going on. But there, there is one missing. Electrocuted. Enemies cannot take any actions and take 30% increased damage from the critical hits. Are right, interesting, but it's kind of like stun. Let's go forward. What the hell? All right, let's go for it. There's nobody. Hmm. Can we jump up? Oh, that, that, we need a key for that. I guess not not going there just yet. All right. One, two, one, two. Open. Can I? Nope. So we will need to return with, uh, with the key. Oh, no. Oh, but he's jolted. Hehe, <laughs> good for him. All right, area completed. Select reward. What? Pick up. What is that? Black Falcon mercenary token. Can I do it something? Oh, okay, we are in here. Oh, we got this one. Magical deck and lightning resistance. So automatically equipped. We don't have the skeleton key, so we will not be able to unlock the, the thing there. Oh, all right. So this is the end of the map and we can choose. Reward chest, advanced currency or advanced artifact. Let's go artifact. I don't know what they are, so. Heated anvil, magical artifact. It's like schools, like view synergy, shatter and momentum. Okay. This one is winter and uh, rapidity. And this one is merchant and talent. I kind of like the middle one. The rapidity increase your magical attack by 5%. Reduce skill cooldown. And on uh, basic skills here, it has 40%, a 50% chance to inflict chilled on the target. So we will go for chilled and jolted at the same time. Each rare artifact you destroy increase your damage. No. And more gold and more experience increase your magic attack by 15%. Let's go with this one. Acquire. Frozen moss. Artifacts and synergies. So... 
quest. There are runes. Oh my god, there is a there, there is a lot item. So there is an artifact. There is essences. Oh, there is so oh my god, there is so many systems right from the get-go, I see. So there will be spellblade resources in mana. Alright, that, that's good to know. Uh, that's so cool, because I can see the potential of the build variety, right? Because you will be able... Uh, and if it's... Ah, oh, come on. If it's a rogue light, I can assume that uh, you will... Mm -hmm. I will assume that uh, you, if you die, you will lose everything. And you will go over. I don't know if you will lose, like, um, the equipment. Maybe yes. Maybe we'll uh, build the character from the scratch. I don't know what we'll keep, what I will keep, and what will be, uh, what will be something that I will, um, you know, keep for the for the next run. I don't know if if everything will be like that. Again, who knows? Who knows? We will we will figure it out. All right, sir. Cool. All right, so I can double jump and also dodge right immediately. That, that's pleasant. Oh, there is a big chest. Can I? No. All right. All right. Let's let's go on. Use ruby key. Ooh. I. What I got? Oh, we get skill point. Oh, we can go more into this one, or we can go on another one. Let's go. What is this? Hitting an enemy with sword of lightning has thirty percent chance to daze them. Yep. So maybe it's smart to keep my uh, skill points. If I'm able to be like really good at the game and dodge everything, maybe I'm not supposed to like uh, pick the skills immediately. Because if I find some artifact that is really good for chill effect, for example, so you will spec into chill. At least that's what I'm thinking right now, but maybe not. Advanced Soul Gem. Currency. Let's go Soul Gem because, you know, another mechanic. Increase Dexterity. Increase Core Skills. I don't know what our Core Skills. All Resistance is increased. Let's go Core Skills. Like, let me see. Is this a Core Skill? Basic. Oh, we already... We are able to go here? I guess. One point, right? So I didn't have to go here. I could go here. And this is course oh, Okay, got it. Understand. Alright, let's move let's move on. Call element and action. Do not display an enemy frozen status. Oh, there is a outside galleon forest. Sicko. Chef. Who are you? I don't think you are with the Black Falcons, and you are not a member of the Guard. Was the order sent to you? Successes? Well, it's about time. This town has more than just a few demons running mock. Rumor had it that the successes were in uh, Drakans, but this isn't the case. So, what are you looking for? Do you uh, want some of my cooking? Of course, it smells incredible, doesn't it? Don't mistake it for something that a stupid giant could make. These are my own recipes. If you are my client list, you can eat as much as you want for a gold coin. My food is only for my customers. If you are starving, you can bag the giant for some leftovers. It's better for your health if you don't, uh, don't know where your food comes from. Hmm, do you have a mark? You only have been for a short time since you meet me. How did you get it? That way? That it gave it to you? I'm a little dubious that he gave it to you, uh, for more a reason. Well, rules are rules. Take your pick, it tastes great, but my cooking will be useful to you in your battle for a limited time. So let's restock, right? For 20? He said for a coin. I guess he meant like, you know, coin. Uh, and this one? We can for 1200, we can restore 50% life. Increase physical and magical attacks by 25 until two areas. No, we are not going there. But I can restock here. Oh, that's changing what is here. So I don't want anything. That's fine. That guy. That looking really cool. Look at the art style. Wow. Alright, we don't want anything. Because it's 1200. Maybe I will use the coin for something... Oh no, bosses will always drop legendary gear. 
Okay, so why I'm getting an uh, idea that this is a boss fight. And I should have maybe Crystal. I'm Clara, a priestess of the loop, the god of light. Not long ago, I would have welcomed you to the town of Cliffshire with joy, but I regret to now that I uh, have to do it on a forest that is losing its light. Originally, Cliffshire was not just a town, but an enclave of monasteries and cemeteries, a plateau of burial grounds, and centered around a temple of light. And the demons came, corrupting men and spirits, raising the dead, and pushing us from the sanctuary. According to the survivors, they came here through the rift. It's unusual for demons to show up now and then, and cause mayhem, but it's very rare that this may show up at once, and with such a focus on slaughter, uh, it was not that long ago that demons appeared. Lunites and I resisted as long as we could, but our temple was taken and we were driven to this village. The demons are corrupting humans and spirits, rising dead and bearing us from away from the sanctuary. We fear that the prophecy is being fulfilled, and this is the second coming of the evil dragon, Gurnian. The order presumes that the dragon, who once fled into the rift to escape punishment, has finally emerged and opened rifts all around the world. A rift appeared quite some distance from here, in the burial ground. We desperately need your help to drive out this consuming darkness. Ahead of you is the forest of spirits. It was a flourishing forest of wine sprites. Spirits under the influence of two great tree spirits that guarded the forest. Deep in the forest, the upright and strong tree spirits Gunnivir has the fallen. According to survival of the battle, two blood-stained faces grew on the large branch. Defeat the creature, cut off the part of it, and bring it to me. A piece of the fallen tree spirits can be used to rid of entrance of the Galatin cave of the blood wines that surround it. May you always walk in the light. All right, so we we have some uh, some things uh, around about what? That's a lot of like different areas it seems. Okay, all right, I'm down. So we are are we going this road like over and over? I don't know. We'll see. What? A human? There was one like you, but he never returned. Humans like you always comes here. Humans are as so persistent as demons. The forest ahead is where the spirits, my companions, my children have fallen. Those who can no longer be called spirits will stand in your way. If you can get to the tree of spirit long more, slay him and remove his horns. By removing the horns of the evil spawn during the fall, you will bring the rest to my weary companion. Okay, so he's a good guy. Uh, increase the potion carrying capacity. Your max life is increased. Armor increased, all resistance increased. I will go with with this. More capacity for the potions. I feel that I will do mistakes and uh, potion can, you know. So what up? All right, there is nothing. Oh my God. Oh, we got, oh, all right. Oh, this will be interesting, you know, different enemies, different patterns, and we will need to learn everything. Two skulls. All right, he's throwing. That's good. Cool. Throwing again. Important to, uh, you know, remember everything. The sound of the uh, go falling gold on the ground is just Diablo 2. <laughs> it's just there, in your face. And you lo love to love it. Okay, he's dead. Oh, we got we got the skill. So let's go here, right? Let's go lightning, lightning frenzy, or lightning rush. So what is lightning frenzy? Attack four times in rapid succession for forty percent magic damage as lightning. On hit, you have fifteen percent chance to unleash fast lightning. Deal thirty-five percent um, magic damage as lightning. Or dash forward. Okay, lightning to enemies in, in your path. There's a 60% chance to an enemy. Okay, I'm going over here. Just lightning frenzy, right? We will we will just slash them to the pieces. All right, that, that's the idea. All right, I tried. All right, I don't know how to use the ability. Uh, okay. All right, can I like run? Nope. 
interesting. I don't know how the ability... Okay, so it's it's super fast. I was confused by that because I, I was hoping that it would be like four attacks, but it's, it, it's super quick. So I lost, I lost quite a lot, but I survived, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. Ouch. Oh, we don't have enough potion. Area completed. I, I like that. I don't have the key. So, advanced currency or soul gem. Let's go advanced currency because we haven't picked that. Alright, so the, the currency is, I guess, that will be uh, for a meta progression. So, uh, you know what? Let's go here and let's go for a skill. What is this? Increase the chance of fast lightning calls by lightning... F uh, calls by lightning... Frenzy. To 35%. Okay, we can't go further. So, you know what? Let's go... Let's go... Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Even... Even though maybe... Go for the basic attack? Could it be also a really good strategy? Alright. Can I go again, sir? Oh my god. I don't know even... Ooh! Oh, sometimes the chump feels that it's not really proper. But, you know, everything is about trying. <laughs> okay. Drop. Drop. Oh, I knew something like that happened. Is it like elite? Really? He got the different, uh, different thing about him. Okay, dead. Nice. Nice. We just demolished them for nothing. But still, I don't have... I don't have a new potion. Oh, nice. Leather gloves. Oh, still. We haven't even picked up the, like... Oh, I got the ruby chest. Or I got the key. Oh, the key is right here. You can't see it. Like, that. There's only thing. My, my, uh, my stuff. But I got a lot of money. So if I would go to the shop... Alright, he will teleport. Oh my god, he's going back with it. Ooh, I was supposed to dodge and not jump. Area completed. But there is a struggle. Let's go for artifact. Mm -hmm -hmm. So what do we have? Critical strike chance and reduce skill cooldown. Mm, there's a rapidity is it will be level two mastery skills cooldown we don't have mastery skills so it's kind of like eh, sturdy that will do nothing for us now right now and satiate okay basic skills hit the enemy grants increased armor and for two each time you consume a life potion or, or a food your maximum life is increased and this one Maximum resources increased. Reduce resources consumption. Hitting an enemy with basic skills. 80% chance to replenish your resource again. Okay. When you hit an enemy with basic skill, you gain 15% attack speed for 5 seconds. I love the balance. Alright, so I'm going for balance, I guess. What is this? Increase your magic attack. Healing effect increased. Like, this one is also good. What is the second one? When you dash, you gain 10% movement speed. And attack speed. Ooh. Alright. But you know what? No. <laughs> Let's go here. Even though, I don't know. Uh, skills. Oh, now we are in mastery. No, that's assistant skills. For 7 seconds, you are surrounded by our aura of lightning. Increasing the damage of... All lightning elemental skills by 6% and dealing 50% magical damage as lightning to nearby enemies every second. Or we can uh, master this to something. Lightning frenzy deals 20% increased damage to enemies. 
Lightning Frenzy is 80% chance to cause fast lightning. And what, what about this? I think I mean, the Sword of Lightning has 35% chance to make them vulnerable. Or... Lightning attacks against enemies have 45% chance to release a bolt of lightning that deals 35% magic damage as lightning. Lightning bolts chain to nearby. Sword of Chain Lightning? <laughs> Don't say more. Like... Hopefully, there is no boss fight right now. <laughs> because I I kind of don't have HP. I got 70. Oh, that's a boss fight right there. God damn it. All right. We got 76 HP. We will, we will, oh. All right. This one, nothing. So we need to slash this guy. All right. I don't know. Uh, those exploding, right? And I need... I don't know. That will... Ex oh, all right. It will... I jump into that. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was like, yeah. So destroying the globes will give me something. Uh, that they will not spawn. All right. Andy's the retired successor. Okay. I've been waiting this successor. I knew, I knew this was where the successors defied it and were reborn. I was afraid of good one would uh, keep me waiting a long time. But you showed up quickly. <laughs> you died many, many times, haven't you? Are you new? My name is Anders, the previous successor. Uh, it's a noble for a tired successor to find and uh, nurture to ne next in line. That's where I don't fit in. I'm just here to investigate the rifts in this village, which is different from the ones we've been seeing before. It's personal. But they say the successes have already arrived here. I've been waiting to see what he's up to. It looks like you could use a little help. If you don't mind, I'd like to give you some advice as a senior. The successes each have unique abilities. They can manipulate the elements, work with blood, or, or speak with spirits. I have such abilities. I'm skilled with the great sword and artifacts. Dragons are usually good with artifacts. It may be because I'm close to the dragon. Still, I'm also very good at identifying identify objects I will unlocking their potential. Have you ever used the artifact on the altar? An average person would need help withstanding the power of more than one artifact. But the successors born within the power of the runes must harness it. And all the previous successors have harnessed the power of the artifacts. Each artifact has a different will, but some have similar powers. They resonate with each other, amplifying their power. Have you noticed? In that regard, I think you're most in need of experience with more artifacts. Stay this first. As a jar of these unidentified artifacts, I'm told the Drakan in the merchant group takes care of the artifacts. If you show him this, I'm sure he'll be pretty favorable. You get more artifacts. When you're ready, I'll tell you the next step. Good luck. All right, so we dead. Oh, so equipment is something that we will keep. Skills. We are going over. Items. We are going over. Okay. So only, only equipment is something we, we will like keep. That means that we will be much stronger this time around, right? Because we got all the equip from, uh, from before. So each time we will go with a different build. But also, the building of uh, of the items also contribute what what I will go for. Well, it's interesting. Uh, like to see. All right. So we haven't explored anything. So that's interesting. I love it. Use. We can Oreo. Warehouse oversee Oreo. Okay, Oreo is there. Uh, Hanks, blacksmith. You've come to the right place. If you're looking for the town's blacksmith, I'm the best in the neighborhood. But it's no use because I don't have a hammer. Not the sledgehammer I'm holding, but the proper hammer. A rune engine the hammer draws on the powers of seal equipment and transforms them to suit the user. Isn't that cool? I think so too. It's pretty cool, except I don't have it. The hammer is in a monastery. Do you know anything about the stolen monastery? It's a demon infested monastery beyond the elemental forest. I used to go there often to forge a monk's weapons. Training is essential for monks too. The equipment always breaks during the training. Monks Dyke, the monk in charge of training new monks, took pride in the calling me the monastery often. He, we grew close and we now broken here. It was also the monastery the day that the demons appeared at the end of the service. 
When I tried to take people to safety, demons came like rats from the armory. Dak asked me to take the remaining people to safety. Then he decided to hide, leaving stranded monks in the depths of the monastery. He saw my hesitation and placed a hand on my shoulder, reassuring me that I would return with everyone. And with confidence he said the ruling ham wouldn't be mine. I recognized the cowardice of my decision to believe him at the moment. It's been a long time since then, but the dag is not the one to die easily, and I believe it. Successor, I suppose you have come to slay all the demons that have appeared here. If so, I need you to go to the monastery and check of his welfare on my behalf. Alright, so we got the quest that it's like after the boss we will encounter it, like we need to kill, right? So it's interesting. So, and, and we will bring him his hammer. We will unlock a new thing that we will be able to do in the city. I like that. There is a something overarching like the roguelite element and I, I kind of really dig it. A face I've not seen before and wonder if no uniform or you are the successful older man spoke of. Successor, you are dark as rumored. At least you don't look like a monster. You are in a bad enough situation that you can't even dwell on the character of the people who capture demons. I sell very good equipment in this town. Do you know uh, that they gather all those who are capable of fighting here, not just soldiers? It's easier than ever to get equipment. When you die, your weapons won't be lost. My role is to keep the will of the wielder alive. Is that too much for a merchant to say? Or maybe it is. But I'm just saying you are not only successor. Alright. So we can buy things. Oh, for the gems that we collected. So we lost the gold. Because uh, you can see there is a gold and there is a thing and we have it. So the diamonds or the, the I don't know what it is, but we will keep this and the other ones we will not. So we can go in. You can enter when Lipa is not here. Please mind your manners. Oh, okay. Okay. So we can't go in. And this one we can't interact. So we can interact only with the merchant. So we should buy something, right? For example, this. Skill cooldown reduction, all, all magical damage. Let's go with this one. I don't know, maybe maybe it was not really uh, smart. But it is what it is. Quest. Undefined or Oh, runes. Huh. <laughs> there is a lot. Is there anything else? Oh, there is a potion maker. And off the gelatin cave, we get ingredients for potions. Stick around the more impressive potions. He has. So we need to find him to be able to do that. And with this, we can go and cliff shower and just start, right? The game. What is this? Oh, there is, uh, there is another, like, guy. Clara. Good to see you. How does it feel to live beyond your own death? I would be pleased if you would accept this as part of your mission. Okay. I thought that would be something more exciting. Is there anything else? Just want to see, you know, if there is like another meta progression or this is a start of a new adventure. I think this is a start of a new adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galvin Forest. But I feel that's the really good end point for the, for the introduction. There is a lot of... We, we get to the Gallatin Forest, right? We completed it. And with the Forest of Spirits, we started. So we are absolutely on the beginning of the game. There is nothing explored and nothing like gain. So that that's really interesting. So yeah, this is everything for today. Thank you very much. And if you want to see more, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. And I will bring you another episode for sure. Because th this is really looking re like a really good game. And in the meantime, you can check more videos above, or you can wait for another time, or bring you something else. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Peace.